Vikings! Rah, let's talk a little bit more about Vikings. I've got an accent. First of all, uh, I'm just going to start off that I do have my Danax. In fact, I have two almost identical Danaxes. Uh, Dane? Danaxes. <laughs> Um, let's call them great axes. Um, so, first of all, I just <laughs> so this isn't the video I intended to make, but let's just run with it. Um, so, I'm gonna first of all, what this video is supposed to be, and I'll get to that in a minute, is a little follow up to my recent Viking video where um, lots of people. Um, got very angry with me and I'm fine with that because I knew that was going to happen. It wasn't a video to provoke them. But anyway, I'm going to follow up on that video in a second. But just briefly on the Danax, um, so Thor's Forge um, stepped up and have forged me uh, a, a Danax. Or, but I was going to say, let's call it a great axe because let's face it, a lot of these weren't necessarily from Denmark. Some of them were, were from uh, Sweden, some of them were from Norway and some of them were from England, weren't they? Because if you actually think about it, the, the Vikings, the so-called Vikings, the Scandinavian people, the raiders, uh, I never know, I always try and avoid the word Viking and I come back to using the word Viking. I'm just going to call them Vikings. The Vikings conquered uh, f f initially the top half, diagonal half of, um, of England, um, and then later on they conquered all of England. Um, so the fact is that the Anglo-Saxon English mixed inextricably with the Scandinavian people. Um, I don't think this should be too surprising. I don't think we look massively dissimilar. Um, English people originally, um, a lot of them, we share a lot of genetics with Scandinavian people. There are, there's, for example, the certain Y chromosome types that are particular to Norway that we don't really find in Britain and this kind of stuff. But that aside, Looking generally at the genetics, we are quite closely related, obviously, to the Scandinavians. Our language is quite closely related to the Scandinavians. We shared the same religion before we converted to Christianity. As the Scandinavians, for us, it was for them it was Odin. For them, for us, it was Woden. It's the same thing. Okay, so we're essentially the English. Um, in particular, rather than the Scots and the Welsh, um, but the, the, the English are a kind of a Scandinavian people. But, um, so love to Scandinavia. And I, I don't want people to, um, I've drifted off on another tangent, but I don't want people in Scandinavia to think that when I make videos trying to correct some of the myths about the Vikings, the time anti-Scandinavian. I'm not. I've actually been in um, Sweden and De I've never been to Norway actually, but I've been in Sweden and Denmark a number of times, and I love it, and I love Scandinavian people, and um, I, I, you know, um, I'm not at all anti-Scandinavian. Uh, quite the contrary, actually. I'm quite pro-Scandinavian. But anyway, um, so Thor's Forge stepped up and have made me a Danax, um, and actually. Um, they made two. I'll talk more about this obviously when I have them in hand, but they, they made two and one of them was slightly different to the other one, but I ended up saying I, I would like to buy both, <laughs> please, or buy, buy the one that wasn't made for me. So full confession, so one of them was essentially made for me. Um, I paid for the, the materials and the shipping cost on it, and the other one I'm buying. Okay, so full disclosure, just so you know what I am and I'm not being given or buying or whatever else. Okay, right now, on to the sort of update or follow up to my um, Vikings video that I released a few days ago. First thing to say is that um, I wasn't really intending at all to talk about the relative merits of Christianity and Islam. And do you know what? Um, I actually don't care. Okay, um, so full disclosure. I don't think I've ever said this on the channel before, I'm an atheist, okay? Um, I'm not an evangelical atheist, that's a kind of contradiction, isn't it? Um, but I'm, I, I'm not trying to convert you to any particular belief, but I was um, raised a Protestant, I suppose. I went to a Catholic school, and as an adult, I decided I don't believe in this stuff. Um, so I personally have no uh, particular um, axe to grind for any particular religion. I don't have any chip on my shoulder about Christianity. If, if you believe in God, if you believe in Christianity, that's absolutely fine. If you believe in Islam and you believe in that sort of vision of religion, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, uh, so that's first up and I'm not going to talk any more about that topic. Right, so um, 
in terms of the Vikings and my judgment of them. So I knew that there are lots of Viking fans out there. And do you know what? I'm kind of one of them, but not for, not for a kind of purist, um, ideological um, reason. I don't think that, um, I don't think that they're necessarily to be admired or to be less admired than anyone else, but they are interesting. There is undeniable fact that the uh, Viking uh, migrations and invasions and that whole era is a fascinating bit of history. Um, and that's why I like the Vikings. I like the Vikings because they're interesting. And the fact is, we're talking about more than a thousand years ago, okay? We're talking about 1,200 to a thousand years ago. So it's ancient history now, so very, very long time ago. But having said that, they made an indelible mark on Western civilization, and they're remembered very, very strongly. You know, they feature, how many programs and movies have featured Vikings? People have even, like shoehorned Vikings into movies which have no place having Vikings. Didn't Ironclad have Vikings in it? Anyway, um, like, yeah, you can find Vikings everywhere, you know, the, the, um, in computer games, for example, you know, knight versus samurai versus Viking, like, <laughs> where did that come from? Um, so Vikings are hugely popular in modern culture, and I suppose a lot of what I say is reactionary against that. I'm a product of the modern world, like everybody watching this video, I would imagine, unless you're a time traveler. Um, and um, so, you know, I've been subject uh, subjected, subjected to the same media about Vikings as you have, but also I have maybe differently to some of you, not all of you, um, I've also studied that period, but I studied it. I didn't study it completely neutrally because of course I'm English. And um, as an English person studying Viking history, you look at it and you think, these bastards coming over here, taking our women, taking our sheep uh, and our horses and uh, killing, you know, some of my ancestors and all this kind of stuff. You have to remember that. I have always found it a little bit strange when an English person with an English name decides to do reenactment of the ninth century and be a Viking. Because it's a little bit like uh, being a Polish person, reenacting World War II and deciding to be a Nazi, okay? Now, <laughs> I realise that that may get some interesting comments underneath this video, but that's kind of how I feel. If you're an English person, the Danes are definitely the baddies. Now, I do understand probably there were some English people who sided with the Danes for various political reasons. In fact, we know this happened. In the same way that there were English people who sided with William the Conqueror to, to further their own personal uh, selfish goals. But ultimately, for English people, the Vikings were definitely a bad thing, okay? There is no questioning that if someone invades your country, takes away members of your population as slaves, including women and children and, <laughs> and sheep, um, and if they rape and pillage and steal, then you're probably not going to like those people very much. So why does an English person love Viking so much? Well, I, I think it's modern fantasy, isn't it? The fact is that people attach like or dislike to things very often for purely aesthetic reasons. Um, so very often people will say, oh, I like Vikings because uh, they've got big axes and I like those helmets with the spectacles on the front and stuff like this. And it's like, yeah, okay, but if you were an English person, an Anglo-Saxon living in, in the year 900, would you like them? <laughs> no, probably not. Just the same as, you know, a, a person living in um, in the Netherlands in, in 1940 probably wasn't too keen on the Germans. Uh, you know, it, it's just kind of, the fact is that populations of Europe have been screwing each other, <laughs> each other over for a very, very long time. And that's not to say that people from outside Europe haven't also screwed us over. Yes, you know, there were huge waves of Mongols came into Europe and waves of Turks and waves of Moors and all of the other. Yes, that's what humans do. Humans beat the living crap out of each other quite often. That's what we do. And sometimes it's the, the people from across the other side of the hill who come and invade and, and um, rape your wives and kill you. Um, you know, that's humans are shit. What else can I say? 
So really, that was the main point of the video. And yes, I strayed onto Christianity and Islam and all sorts of other things, which I probably shouldn't have done. But the fundamental fact is that I don't think many people can really say that Vikings, specifically, not Scandinavians, but Vikings, that is people who go Viking, I don't think anyone can say that Vikings were good, were they? I mean, even by the standards of the day, and this was the point I was trying to make, even by the standards of the day, yes, everybody's fighting each other, invading each other, taking stuff from each other, but there were certain rules of war which were observed amongst Christian populations that, you know, fundamentally meant that most people were probably better off in Christen Christendom than they were when they were being attacked by heathens. And that was the point I was trying to make. Um, and, you know, people who, I, I noticed one comment, um, I think it was posted today, as in the day that I'm filming this video, that said, oh, there's no evidence that the Vikings raped anybody. Um, you know, that's, that's propaganda from two centuries later, written by Christian writers who were anti-heathen or anti-pagan. I'm sorry, but that's absolute rubbish. First of all, armies throughout history have raped as they've gone. Okay, so first of all, you can say, yeah, well, basically all medieval armies probably did some rape. But the fact is, we do absolutely know that the Vikings raped because the genetic evidence is right there staring us in the face. You know, the, we know that populations of... of um, Iceland and such like were were made up of Irish females and Norwegian men. I mean, you know, make of the, do you think that huge hordes of Irish women lined up and went, take me to Iceland? <laughs> no, they were either sold or taken as slaves. And if if a if a man buys a woman and then has children with her, I think we can assume that a lot of the time it's going to be rape. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. The fact is. The Vikings were a product of their time. I do think that they have been remembered by history in the way that they have because they were slightly worse and slightly more brutal and in Christian eyes, less moral um, than other people in Europe. You know, the, the English and the French have a long animosity, but at no point have the English ever created an idea about the French that they're raping, pillaging, um, you know, godless heathens. It's just not the case. You can be enemies with the people, but the fact is the Vikings were one step beyond that. And that is not to say that people like Charlemagne and his, and his massacre in Saxony um, were, were good or excusable or anything else. Two wrongs don't make a right. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that in relative terms, the Vikings were good and fine. And it was fine to take loads of slaves and rape lots of people and kill defenseless monks and nuns. No, it wasn't fine, okay? And that wasn't generally done in Christendom. That was my point. Thanks, folks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We have extra videos on Patreon and you can follow us on Facebook.